Henrique Batista never believed in monsters. The world was supposed to be simple, grounded in logic and free from the supernatural. But one night in 1998, as the shadows lengthened and the moon hung high, something emerged from the darkness that shattered everything he knew. Born in an area celebrated for its beautiful landscapes, Enrique had no patience for the paranormal. Until that night, when the impossible became terrifyingly real. It was supposed to be another ordinary weekend, a visit to see Juliana, the girl he had met while exploring a local tourist spot. Enrique took the bus to visit her every weekend sticking to the same routine. But that day, time slipped away. Before he knew it, the sun had dipped below the horizon, and the warmth of daylight gave way to night. He missed the last bus home and ended up on a different bus, one that left him stranded eight kilometers from his town. The night was calm, with the moon high in the sky, casting a soft glow over the quiet landscape. Enrique initially enjoyed the tranquility, the distant croak of frogs, the rustling of leaves in the gentle breeze, and the rhythmic crunch of his footsteps along the gravel road. The cool night air felt refreshing, and he found comfort in the familiar sounds of the countryside. But as he walked, a sense of unease began to settle in. Gradually, the night seemed to grow quieter, unnaturally so, as if every creature in the forest was holding its breath. The rustling leaves went still, and the usual night sounds faded away. A chill ran down Henrique's spine, and the hairs on the back of his neck stood on end. The peaceful night walk was slowly turning into something else, an inexplicable dread creeping over him. Something felt wrong. Halfway through the journey, Henrique saw something, a large shadow jumping over a wall, crossing the street and disappearing into the woods. He squinted into the darkness, trying to make sense of it. At first, he thought it was just a stray dog, and he kept walking, but the feeling of being watched grew stronger. His heart began to pound as he noticed a shadow moving through the trees, keeping pace with him. The figure had glowing red eyes that shone through the darkness, and he could hear a deep growl, a low, rumbling sound that made his blood run cold. This was no stray dog. Enrique's heart pounded harder, his breaths coming in shallow gasps. The creature wasn't running on all fours. It was upright, moving like a man but covered in dark, matted fur. Its arms were long, nearly reaching the ground, and its movements were erratic and unsettling. One moment it was on two legs, the next it dropped to all fours, covering ground with unnatural speed. Its filthy fur glistened faintly under the moonlight, tangled in clumps that gave it an almost spectral appearance. Enrique could see the glint of its claws as they scraped against the ground, sharp and menacing. His hands trembled, and he picked up his pace, his breath quickening, each heartbeat thundering in his ears. He knew that if the creature wanted to catch him, it could do so easily. Every muscle screamed to keep running, but dread threatened to drain his strength. Each ragged breath tore through his lungs as he pushed forward. Behind him, the creature's growls resonated at a bone-aching frequency, a sound not meant for nature. Gravel crunched beneath his feet, each step sending jolts of pain through his legs. His house lay ahead, a dim outline against the starless sky, but the distance seemed to stretch with each stride. The creature loomed closer, its malevolence so tangible he could taste it, metallic and bitter. Salvation was within reach. Fifty yards, forty, thirty. Henrique's hope surged, heart pounding. Each step brought him closer. Then, a flicker of movement. His heart sank. The creature burst from the tree line, crashing down with bone-rattling force. Its roar split the night distorting the air like heat waves. Safety dissolved into pure, paralyzing dread. Henrique stumbled, his heel catching on uneven ground. He fell hard, pain exploding through his body as the air was knocked from his lungs. Gravel bit into his skin as he lay there, fear coursing through him. He stared up into the face of nightmares. The creature's burning eyes locked onto him, and its clawed hand reached out, promising a swift, brutal end. Time slowed. Enrique's terror sharpened into raw defiance. He might die, but not cowering. With every ounce of strength he kicked out, his foot connecting with the creature's torso. It barely shifted, but the sudden act made it hesitate. That split second was all Enrique needed. He scrambled upright, ignoring the burning in his shredded palms and the protests of his battered body. Three desperate strides brought him to his door. His fingers, slick with blood and sweat, scrabbled at the latch. 
he tumbled inside, slamming the door shut behind him and bolting it with a resounding clang. Finally, Henrique made it home. He rushed into his small room, which used to be the laundry area. His parents' house was nearby, but all the lights were off, and he assumed everyone was asleep. He tried to calm himself, but his heart continued to thud violently, and the sense of dread refused to leave. Soon, he heard heavy footsteps outside circling his room. The sound was slow and deliberate, each step accompanied by a raspy, guttural breathing that sent shivers through his body. His dog, chained up nearby, whimpered in fear, the chain rattling as it tried to pull away. With trembling hands, Henrique opened the door to unchain his dog. That's when he saw it, the creature standing at the edge of the yard, staring at him. The moonlight revealed more details. Its fur was filthy, clumped together, and its eyes burned with an unnatural intensity. Its mouth was slightly open, revealing sharp yellowed fangs. Henrique's heart pounded as he quickly pulled his dog inside and slammed the door shut. Moments later, he saw the shadow of the beast through the crack at the bottom of the door. It sniffed around, and Henrique could hear its ragged, labored breathing. The air was thick with the stench of damp fur and decay. Then it threw itself against the door, shaking it violently, the wood groaning under the force. The noise woke Henrique's father, who quickly turned on all the lights in the house and yard. Henrique heard the creature let out a growl before running off into the woods. His father came to his room, his face lined with worry, eyes wide with fear. He scanned Henrique for any sign of injury, his expression a mixture of concern and resignation. As Henrique recounted everything, and his father listened, his fears confirmed. He sighed deeply, remembering the rumors of a werewolf-like creature, known locally as a lobisomum, being seen nearby. It seemed those stories were no longer just tales. Henrique's encounter had brought them terrifyingly to life. After that night, Henrique was more careful about staying out late. Juliana and he became engaged, and even now, none of them, his family, Juliana, or himself, take any chances walking around after dark. They all know what's out there, and they have no intention of tempting fate. Henrique's belief in the ordinary world was shattered that night, leaving no room for doubt about what he had witnessed. Since then, he and his family have avoided walking after dark, unwilling to risk another encounter. This story, adapted from Henrique's account originally shared on the NS Oculto YouTube channel. If you have experienced something lurking in the dark, DeadNet Studios wants to hear your story. Share your encounter by emailing deadnetstudios at gmail.com and help us uncover the mysteries hidden in the shadows. Take a little rest They find the shackles